Hi everyone, welcome back to Hunter Gatherer Cooking and another Seafood and Eat It episode. I'm here with Sam from Bristol Fish. Last week we did cuttlefish and this week we're going to do squid. Okay, so today we have three beautiful fresh little squid. Squid, again, are one of those things that start small and just get bigger and bigger. I mean, take the kraken for example. The squids are delicious. Let's prepare a couple. We are going to pull the squid tube from the head, taking with it all the gubbins inside, just like so. We're going to cut just below the eye, just like so. All this is waste. Inside with the tentacles we have a little uh, beak which you need to take out, which is its mouth. There we have squid tentacles ready. With your thumb and forefinger, just peel behind one of the wings and peel it off. I'm going to just peel off that sinew, just like so. We're going to take out the feather in a squid, which is this piece here. Some fools may call it nature's plastic. Who knew? Back of the knife, just making sure that all the crud is out of the squid. So, so to prepare, we could cut it into rings to make the infamous calamari, um, which we could batter and deep fry. So choose your width of ring size. <laughs> <laughs> What so there size, we have. What size ring do you prefer? Nope. So there we have calamari squid. Quite a nice way to do squid, however, is to open it up and pineapple it, because with squid it's all about surface area. So that's what we're going to do with the second one. But then with this squid, what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. Just like that. Scrape out the gummies and then score it one way and then the other. It's a beautiful way of having it. If you've ever had like salt and pepper Chinese squid, uh, this is the way they prepare it. So it doesn't look like much now, but when Alex cooks it, he'll have pineapple squid. Nice. Just score one way. And then the other. Cut it in half. And then when you cook it, it'll pineapple up on itself. I do want to have pineapple squid. Okay, so with your pineapple squid, I would massage it in an egg white and then um, dust it heavily in a light flour, so potato flour, rice flour, corn flour, a little bit of smoked paprika, a little bit of salt and pepper. And although we don't, have, we don't all have deep fat fries at home, if you uh, tilt your wok on an angle and just get a little bit of hot, fat, deep fried squid, that's the way to go. So that was the squid. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you again to Sam from Bristol Fish. Hope you're enjoying the series. If you've got any questions or suggestions, put them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And next week, we're going to do a Megrim or a Cornish Sole. Thanks for watching.